Welcome back, beautiful beings. Today, we are going to make some doors. So I got some cut out cardboard here, shape of a door. And I'm going to put this glue this cardstock on. Show you all the shapes first. These two are kind of wonky, these two shapes, because I'm going to use them for something else. Okay? So that's why they're like wide and don't really look like doors, but we'll make them look like doors. Then I have this door and this door, just from cardboard, and I left the thing on there. This is for a Kleenex box. I left the extra layer of cardboard that was on there on there, and just white cardboard, okay? And then I got two doors that I painted, this color and this color with metallic paint, okay? And I have stickers here from Crafter Square. And I'm going to be using this sticker and this sticker. And see, and I only had one. I cheated and I traced them to make the hinges. Okay, these will be the hinges for the doors. Okay, beautiful bands. It's so, it's really easy. Just put your sticker down and then trace it. Get it as close as you can and then cut it on the line so it's not bigger. Okay? So let's get started. I'll cut these out after I glue these down. These pieces of paper to our doors. And again, these ones are already done. They're just painted. I was going to use these for something else, but they're not big enough. That's why these two are bigger. <laughs> Even though they don't look like a door, but we'll make them look like a door. So I'm gonna glue all these pieces of paper onto our doors. And then I'll be back. Okay, beautiful beings, next step. I got all these doors cut out. This one and this one. I did the wrap around. Okay, I just wrapped the fabric around. That's all I did. Here's the hinges. And this one I wrapped around also. And this one, I'm going to use bronze metal. And I'm going to go around the edges with the bronze metal. And I'm going to paint the hinges bronze metal. Okay. And this one, I'm doing chocolate brown. Same thing. Pearl white. They're all metallic paint. This one, I think I'm going to use rose gold. Go around it in the hinges. This one, antique copper and hinges around it. And we have, <laughs> this is old, <laughs> metallic rose shimmer. <laughs> okay, and I'll be back when I get that done. Okay, beautiful beings, I got a mistletoe here. I already glued it up. We're going to stick that right up here. Just like that. And then I have some beads here. Dollar Tree and you know that six pack you can buy we're gonna stick them on here for a doorknob <laughs> we're gonna use them for a doorknob I'm gonna put four of them two together and another thing you can do with these I'm making pockets but you can make magnets out of them and make them for friends and family and give them away for presents. Another idea, you can make these ornaments too and give them away. Stick it like this. Make sure they line up. And that's going to be our doorknob. Okay, beautiful things. And then I got this lovely unicorn. <laughs> And I think I, I either got this from, I got it years ago, so this is either from Hobby Lobby or Michael's. I'm not sure which one.
set that there. And I'm going to grab, I think it was these ones. I'm going to grab the hinges. And figure out where I want the hinges. Maybe I should just use half because those are pretty big. Yes. And if I just tuck that around, I'm like, yeah, that looks way better. We think beautiful things. So we're going to glue it on that way. We're going to glue it that way because it's way too big. So I put glue on it. there and I'm probably going to need to sit a little bit figure out what about you want this hinge Up more. Okay. there that looks good there Did a short on Kit Kat. <laughs> she got a new toy. It has catnip in it. And she was like going crazy with it. So I did a short. And I think I might do more. She looks really cute playing with it. So if you want to check that out, that looks like it's down lower up there. I'm just trying. And she still stays in from it. I should look that up. I don't know. Is it too much catnip bad for kitty cats? It's a toy from Walmart, but I don't know. Just want to make sure it's okay, you know what I mean? I'm trying to wipe the glue off and making a bigger mess. I think that's good now. Now we can put the unicorn down. And the unicorn will go right about there. Right about there. I'm going to have to Wait for this to dry, and I'll give you a close up. So it's bent just a little bit. There's that one. Okay, beautiful beings. On this one, I got this door handle. I'm gonna go right there. And how I got it is I just took a popsicle stick that was already colored. Cut it. Like that. And then you can make the round mark. Look. Like that. And if you want the top to be round, or it can be straight, whatever you want. And then just paint it. Okay? That's what you gotta do. And I did paint that. I put, what did I put on it? Bright red. I put bright red on that one. I'm going to glue that down, right there, door handle, and I did make a video last year around Christmas time, so a year ago, I think it was a year ago, it might have been 11 months ago, but I made Christmas doors out of stints, they are really cute, and that was when I was first starting out, so they haven't gotten viewed much. They are really, really cute, beautiful beings. <laughs> I think they're adorable. Put the hinge there, and the other hinge, hinge, 
if I get time this year, I want to put down, I want to do a video with that same stamp and make fall doors. I think that would look really cute. And there's that door, and that's all I'm doing. Okay, because these are going to be used in the next video. Okay, beautiful beings, we got this one, and I'm going to do the same thing, only because the door is long. Center. This one. But I have these gems. I'm using two of them. And they came from Crafters Square. Okay. In this set, with the stars. And I'm using two of them for the doorknob. doorknob then we're gonna do these hinges Put that out there Right, beautiful beings, <laughs> and that don't have straight a little bit. There's glue on the side. I want to get rid of. And I'll show it to you when it's dry. Then I have a Santa Claus. I want to hang on a door. This is from Dollar Tree. I'm sure you've seen them if you shop at Dollar Tree. I'm going to take that off and we're going to glue them down. Stick them right at the top, just like that. Make sure it's even. And I'm, of course, I'm using mine for pockets, but you can make these as magnets and stick them on the fridge or give them away. Is a gift before Christmas. I think they're adorable. Adorable, beautiful beings. Right now, we're gonna move on to the next one. Okay, beautiful beings. Forgot to tell you, I just painted them. Okay, and then I went when they were dry. I went around them again, just on the sides. Okay, the paint. Okay, beautiful beings, I forgot to show you the hinges. I just painted them and then I went around them after they were dry around the sides. Okay, that's how I got that effect. We're going to put them down first. Thinking about there. I don't know, I'm just going to keep it. I'm just gonna keep it as is. Hopefully it don't look too bad. Then I got this, I'm using it as a knob for the door. And again, they're from Crafter Square Dollar Tree, okay? They look like little rocks, which would make, go good with a river theme. And I'm just gonna put that right there. And that's the doorknob. Then I have this. And this is from Hobby Lobby Christmas Crafts, and I paid 99 cents for them because I got them 50% off. Okay, and we're just gonna hang that on the door, and I'm gonna take the pop up off. Maybe it'll tear it apart, I don't know. 
It is a little bit, but it's not. Ugh. There we go. I got it. I'm going to glue this down. Those be fixed. Well, I'll fix that afterwards. I'm going to put it right in front of the door. Or in the middle of the door. Okay? Look at all that glitter all over. Okay? And we'll move on to the next door. Okay, beautiful beings. Let's get these hinges. I'm going to fold these. Because I don't think they'll look right. I think. I think I should fold these ones. So I'm going to. Up from the bottom, right there. I don't know. I'll be able to tell once the other one's on there. Because they look like a hinge now. Maybe I should just have left. Yeah. I should have left a little bit of that showing like that. So we figured that out. That looks better. And we got the of glue there. Set stuff on them until they dry. How's everybody doing? We're getting ready. Thanksgiving. Let's see, are those even? I don't even know where we're going to have it yet, if we're at Pages, or Kara's, or what's going on. I don't think that was even. I think this one gets a more. Just a little bit. There. Now they're even. Of course, I'm going to have to glue that, get all that dry glue off now. I sewed a button on this one. I forgot to tell you. I got the tiniest button I could and sewed it on there for a doorknob. Okay, now I have these reindeer stickers and they're from Christmas Crafts and I paid a dollar for them again because everything was 50% off. And I'm gonna glue this guy down here and then I want to put some bells at the top of course because of the reindeer. I'm going to put them right here sitting down the bottom of the house or the bottom of the door. <laughs> I can't even talk. Right. Then up here I want some bells. So I have these bells from of course from Dollar Tree. And I don't know. I think I'm just going to use string. Okay. I think this is from Dollar Tree. If not, it's from Walmart. Okay. Just regular string. And hopefully I don't have a hard time getting it in there. Put them on the same one. I'm going to have the 
Okay. Any door. Further. And that can't be too far down. And we'll just glue the string. I didn't even get the other one. Pull it up. I want to pull up. There we go. Get these looking. Maybe we should get a piece of lace or something. Strap them, I'm thinking. Or Christmas material. Hang on. I have this ribbon. So I think I'm just going to glue that right there. I don't want that to be a piece. I'm going to trim that. I just need a tiny little piece. Okay, beautiful beings, Kit Kat was under my chair when I went to get up, and I didn't know she was under my chair, and I stepped on her paw, but not hard, and she meowed and ran away, <laughs> and I forgot that the video was paused or was on or running, I don't know, and I didn't record this part, but all I did was put the bells on twine using a needle. I put the twine on a needle first, and I made sure the needle eye that would fit through there little gap so I could string them on and I am going to cut those off that. And here it is and this will be in the next video because I have something else I want to put on them put on that one and on this one so there's the close up the ones that we did in our little prancing unicorn <laughs> and the doorknob hinges and our mistletoe and then our snowman and the hinges doorknob it's not quite dry and Santa Claus and then last but not least our little Deer with the jingle bells and the even jingle with a button for a handle and the hinges. Okay, beautiful beings. I hope this inspires you and you make some Christmas doors. And if you do, you can send them to me at loa underscore crafts yahoo.com. Okay, beautiful beings. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful everything.